Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I wish you all have a very happy World Happiness Day 2021 in advance. I'm here to welcome all of you today in this function to launch the book written by Tamezang Ishil Hintula, entitled Compassion Plus Wisdom is Equal to Happiness. I especially would like to welcome our chief guest, Kishil Hakdola, whom agreed to come to this function and release the book. I want, want to welcome the medias, people who are present here, and those who are watching online as well. I want to thank each and every one of you for consenting our requests and making the time to attend this function. I welcome all of you again. I request author Dame Sang Ishulandulab to show some light upon his book. Uh, so first one is, first and foremost, I would like to say everyone's welcome to join uh, today our events. And I would like to uh, wish everyone, at once wish everyone happy uh, International Day of Happiness. It's tomorrow, so I wish everyone's a happy, happy world and happy world of peace. And uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so I have here uh, three uh, different topics. And the first one is I would like to say thank you to uh, people who support me. Actually, I published a book and put my name there, but this is not one person. There's uh, millions of people behind of this. So I cannot write all the people's name here and to read in front of people, but I, I would like to some very important people who uh, support me. And the first one is His Holiness Dalai Lama. His Holiness Dalai Lama is the uh, most support for me. And actually, whenever he teaching, I attend. I attend his teaching more than 70 times. And, uh, and I read almost his all the books. Whenever I have challenges, I read his books and I listen to his uh, speech. And, uh, you know, uh, it's not enough to say thank you, but I always believe that the Dalai Lama is behind me. Today we have events, but Dalai Lama is not here. I believe that he is here. And also I request him to read my book and review uh, one fourth letter. So also he gave me a very uh, great fourth letter. So I would like to say His Holiness Dalai Lama and also his office, all people, I would like to say thank you very much. And the second one is I would like to say thank you to my brother. My brother, he is a meditator and uh, stay in the mountain. But whenever I have challenges, especially my emotional challenges, I always ask him some advice. He always there. So, and uh, uh, then third one is uh, Geshel Hatola. Geshel Hatola is always uh, behind me. Actually, before, uh, before I came here in the Damsala, I didn't know much, but I heard his name. But when I came here, then I meet him and he teaching. I attend his many, many teachings, and also I ask anything I need to advise, you know. So everything is always with me, and he really uh, compassion in action. Whenever he helped me, I think he never expected anything from me. And uh, then also, especially this book, and he uh, editing a review and also forward message to give to me. So I would like to say thank you very much, Geshe <laughs> Hadola. And then the fourth, Dr. Devi. Uh, Carol, no, no, Carol Devi. So she's not here, but she is my editor and she is really helpful. And during writing times, she effort a lot, her precious time and all uh, her compassion actions. I would like to say thank you very much, uh, Carol. And then I would like to say thank you very much, Australia Tibetan Support Group, especially Rose and Mom Marin, Mariana, and then the leads and all family and all members of Australia Tibetan Support Group. They always support me. Actually, writing book is not just come today, but because I during the college time, they support me. So I grow up slowly, slowly, slowly. 
so now I can do this because of support all of this. Not only them, you know, it's the DCV, many of my teachers, everyone, you know, I cannot count how, much, how many people support me. So these all are very grateful and helpful, and this all are your, all of your wisdom and the compassion. That's why I can do this today. And so then also to better Kailash House um, will fit. I would like to say thank you very much to support me continually and so long time. It's, he's like my father and he helped me everything, so whatever I need, he always with me. So I would like to say thank you very much, Wilfit, and also all Tibet Kailash House uh, staff and also all members. Thank you very much. And then I would like to say thank you very much to my friend, uh, Lodu Jasso. He is always also helped me whenever I have challenges. I ask him and he's advised me. Also, he read my book and also he review and also he give me a full message, recommend letters. So thank you very much, Lodu Jasso. Thank you. And then I would like to say thank you all my staff. Uh, all staff, at present staff, and all past staff, so everyone said thank you very much to support me, and also all the students who joined my uh, workshop. Actually, I gave, I gave to workshop uh, this Compass Plus Wisdom started from 2018, so many students joined with me. I don't know how my students learn from me, but I, I learn a lot from them, so I would like to say thank you very much to all my students. And then the second one is I would like to talk about a little bit about books. Actually, the process of this writing this book is not easy. Actually, I was planned too long time before I want to write book, book, book. I was thinking, thinking, write a little bit and then stop, a little bit stop. But unfortunately, you know, the world of pandemic come, everyone has suffering, everyone has challenges, you know, so much damage. But luckily, I started writing the book because I got time. There's no nothing to do other things. So I wrote this book during this world pandemic. Last year, March, I start, now it's March, it's completely finished. So it's a, a process. And then the purpose of writing this book is the main three reasons. The one, the main thing is that in the 21st century, everyone have challenges about you know, emotional levels. It's compared to, you know, it's like 13th century, 18th century. That time, the people have, even the 19th century, people have challenged to get enough food, necessary things like food, shelter, and clothes. But now it's compared to that time. Now we are much, much better. It's like 13th century, we are so stay like 13th century king. But our emotional level is much more challenged than uh, at that time people. So it's, it's very important to need, uh, important to need a medicine for the 21st uh, uh, century people, human beings, the special, the emo emotional sickness. So I mean emotional sickness means uh, uh, sick, but it means whenever we are not happy. So it's, that is our sickness, but that one is the only solved problem by our think way of think. We cannot get a medicine and your emotion will be happy. It's not possible. So only need to change using and the methods or you learn it to trans how to say transform it of your mind. So that's why the main purpose of to uh, solve the, all the emotional level challenges. And the second one, the, you know, the, we Tibetan have a special culture. It's a thousand years. We practice the Buddhas and we stay in so, so beautiful place. Actually, maybe uh, physically uh, big challenges. And also we lost our country. They occupied by Chinese. We have so much challenges. But a good thing is that even uh, uh, such challenges, but still we are Tibetan face, a smelling face and things. So I, th I believe that this is the Tibetan value. This is the really Tibetan culture, which can contribute for the world, making more peaceful and happy world. So that's just I would like to share our Tibetan value to the world. And if do that, I think it's then we can, uh, the, the final, the third main purpose is to make a more peaceful and happy world. 
So how we can make world peace and happy? It's not possible to make in some material things like, uh, I don't know, it's like whatever we built up. It cannot make the people world become peaceful. Whether world is peaceful or not, it depends on all our mind, on human beings' mind. If all our human beings the mind is a compassionate mind, loving kindness mind, then I think this world become a peaceful and a happy world. So that's the reason I write the book, this, these three reasons. And uh, third one, I would like to request or hope everyone to read this book. And for young people or old age, old age people, or no matter age, no matter religions, no matter. Because I consider this is not a religion book. This is like uh, your life. Because I didn't talk about how you are enlightenment. I didn't talk about how uh, karma's action to you uh, becomes suffering. But this all talk about how you change your mind, why we turned about this. So all this talking about is uh, uh, so your uh, our own mind how we talk because our mind is how to say we have a, such a beautiful mind so we can transform and everyone have this one so we can use a proper way so this book is I think if you read I hope you you will get a very happy happy feeling. Not like you, if you're not, not feeling happy, you're drunk uh, a cup of uh, beers, maybe you're happy one minute, uh, maybe one hour, two hours, again, your emotional level come back. But if you read this book, maybe your life will become a different stages, your happiness go up, like a graphic go up. It's not like a stock market. And also, if on the final one, I would like to say any institute or schools, I hope they uh, all students share my book. And if you, any institute or schools or college, anyone would like to uh, give order my book, maybe I can give a discount as much as I can. And uh, finally, I hope the our world become more more peaceful and more uh, more happier and everyone's life become better and better and happier happier and uh, thank you uh, thank you very much and if you would like to uh, how to say uh, my book you can buy uh, in in this world you wherever you are you can order online so thank you and thank you very much one more time thank you uh, thank you again Shindula. uh definitely we will read your books and we wish you best for the, your book and we hope your book will read every, uh, reach every corner of the world and now i request Gishel Artola to launch the book So I was congratulating Yishi Ludula for uh, writing this book. Not because he has written a book, because there are so many people writing books. There are experts who write books in two, three days. <laughs> you know, if you look at the amount of publications that is being brought out in the world, it's unbelievable. You know, people can write so much. But I, I appreciate his work because what he has written is based on He's wholeheartedly believing and trusting and believing the teaching of the Buddha and His Holiness the Dalai Lama. And he has personally, as much as possible, implemented it in his own life, within his own struggle, and especially when he is running, up, running the Tibet world, he was trying to help many people who were coming to learn something there. In many ways he tried to help. So based on many of these things, he came to the conclusion which is compassion plus wisdom is happiness. That is the heart of the Buddhist teaching. In Buddhism, it is clearly said that compassion and wisdom are like the two wings of the bird. Without one wing, you can't soar and you can't fly into the space. Both are necessary. The wisdom here means wisdom understanding the reality, the way things are. 
Sometimes we call, we say wisdom, understanding, shunyata or emptiness, which may be sometimes a little bit too bombastic. But <laughs> wisdom, so, I, so I would say wisdom, understanding, reality. Many of us create suffering on other people, do many nasty, unfortunate things, because we don't understand the reality. The reality primarily here means that we are all interconnected, interrelated. We are all living on this earth. The other galaxies are from a distance, but we cannot move there. So this is our only earth, and we are living together on this earth. Now imagine if you contribute towards polluting the water, polluting the air, go to the big cities. I don't have to explain. Many people are having problems. This is our own doing. And His Holiness the Dalai Lama has repeatedly said, there are two types of suffering. One suffering arising, arising from natural disasters. Second, man-made suffering. And man-made suffering is essentially unnecessary suffering. And we should really not create such suffering because we call ourselves intelligent human beings. If you're intelligent in the true sense of the term, how can you bring suffering on other people? Therefore, if you understand the reality that you are not going to live in this world for long, you are going to die. And within this short life, is it your job to create more suffering on other people? Is it your job to kill other people? It's common sense that that should not be the way. So we are, we are, if you look at the way we live, you know, it's really like living together is like, a, you know, sing together or swim together kind of question, you see. Right? So we can really make this world happy by reducing this self-cherishing attitude, the selfishness a little bit, and replace this selfishness with selfless love to other people. So that's why we are talking about compassion. Compassion means a mind which cares about sufferings of other people and makes an attempt to remove and lessen the suffering of other people. We can change the world if everybody does it. I often quote Mahatma Gandhi who said there is enough for everybody's need but not enough for everybody's greed. It is the selfishness and greed which is today destroying the whole planet. Everybody is just, just saying, I want more, I want more, I want more. From where are you going to get that more? From the external environment. How can the external environment give you limited needs? Because the environment itself is a physical reality which has a limitation. So how can you get unlimited resource from limited resource? It means you will end up only destroying the planet, which we are already doing. With this pandemic, we are all suffering. But at least injections came. So hopefully in the next one or two years, we may be able to deal, deal with it. But if you look at the environmental crisis and degradation that is happening each and every day, and once you realize the extent of the degradation that we have done to the environment, it will be beyond repair. No injection will be there to repair that environmental destruction. We'll, 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 we'll suffer from not getting water to drink. It's 100% sure. Already here and there, even in Dharamsala these days, water is more or less rationed. And still, if we don't think and carelessly, like, destroy everything. It's really, really unfortunate. So therefore, my only uh, request through this medium is that this is now time to wake up. Time to wake up. Don't, don't sleep continuously. Wake up. Think about the state of the environment. Think, of, think about the state of the harmony between different countries. So it is really not a time to give up, but to do our bit however small. Don't, don't, don't remain with that pessimistic attitude saying, oh, I am powerless, I can't do anything. No, I'm not asking you to change the world in a day. I'm asking you to smile and produce happiness to the people 
living around you. That you can do. And by doing that, you will be happy. Everybody will be happy. And that's why we say smile is contagious, you see. Spread. There will be this ripple effect everywhere. Right? So therefore, it's wonderful that you have made this attempt to uh, publish this book based on His Holiness' teachings and your own personal experience. I'm definite that with this kind of individual initiative, we're all going to contribute to make this world a better place to live in. Thank you very much. I want to thank Kishil Hagdola for being so supportive to our author, Tamethan Ishilindola, all the time and to all the people. Thank you, Kishila. Now I would like to conclude this event today here. And also I want to, um, I want to inform you all that this book is available in Amazon. If you are interested, you can order online. Because of the COVID-19, we could not have much people as we wish, but this event went very successful. It's because all of your support. Thank you, everyone. Uh, if you are happy, your family will be happy and the world will be happy. If you smile, world will smile back to you. So thank you, everyone.